Hello friends, uh, today I'll be discussing on shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram of simply supported beam which is having uh, external load, point load at the location C. Here you can see that A is our pin support and B is our roller support. Actually we have to calculate the support reaction at A, B and maximum shear force, maximum bending moment diagram and essentially we have to draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. This is very fundamental. And the requirement of shear force diagram is you need uh, shear reinforcement to resist shear. Means uh, failure of any sections can be resisted by the shear reinforcement. Even the role of shear reinforcement is to holding the longitudinal reinforcement, tension reinforcement you can say that. Why bending moment uh, diagram is required? Bending moment diagram is able to provide the bending moment and the bending moment uh, is required to calculate our longitudinal reinforcement as you know that concrete is weak in tension so we need tension reinforcement in the tension phase as uh, a picture is showing or figure is showing that external load is 20 kN and by applying the equation of equilibrium uh, we can get all the reactions uh, what uh, I have to tell over here that because there is no external force in the system in x direction so summation fx equals 0. So what uh, we are knowing that there are two unknown RYA, RYB which we have to calculate through the equation of equilibrium. Equation of equilibrium uh, confers that, that there is a determinate uh, structure even the determinate structure is essentially required the equation of equilibrium because the number of unknown the number of unknown in the system must be able to solve by the number of equation available because there is no external force in the x direction so rxa equals 0 uh, which i have shown over here or summation fy second uh, equil equilibrium equation through that you can get the equation of ryA plus ryB equals 20 because uh, whatever force here it is acting if you see that RYA RYB in the upward direction and 20 kN in the downward direction so I have taken upward as a positive and downward as a negative so one equation we have got through equation of equilibrium second equation will be getting through the moment so we have to take the moment about A uh, what uh, third equation is saying that uh, all the moment about any point must be zero whatever you are taking moment about a c or b it must be zero summation of all the moments so if you are taking the moment of r y b about uh, a it will be giving anti-clockwise direction and uh, 20 kN about a it will be giving clockwise direction if you take the summation of that we will be getting our second equation uh, Anti-clockwise uh, moment I have taken negative and uh, clockwise moment I have taken positive. It is completely your choice which kind of sign convention you will be using. Through these two equations we are uh, we are having two unknown equations. Unknown uh, we are having two unknown uh, RYA, RYB can be easily solved. So what we can conclude over here support reaction RYA 12 kN and RYB 8 kN. This is the preliminary information which we have got for finding out our shear force diagram so for shear force diagram what i have uh, done over here first we have to calculate shear force the so shear force at section xx what shear force definition is telling if you are taking any sections whatever sections you are taking from any point just uh, see on the left side of that so what I have written over here, shear force at any section of a beam is the algebraic sum of all the transfer forces to the left of the section or to the right of the section. So at section xx, if you see that uh, on the left side of xx, only 12 kN is acting which is upward which we have calculated. At section cc, near just section uh, near cc, left of that, you will be finding 12 kN and just after the section cc what i have shown over here section x1 x1 you will be finding that 20 kN is acting downward and 12 kN is acting upward so net we are getting 8 kN negative 
so now we are in the stage of drawing our shear force diagram so from a to c if you will be finding that any section you are taking you will be finding constant uh, uh, force or constant uh, uh, shear force that is 12 kN what what i have shown over here from a to c if you are moving that just near to section uh, uh, just near to c you will be finding 12 kN and just after c you will be finding 8 kN between C to B, you'll be finding the constant uh, shear force that is 8 kN and uh, the upper part is will be must be positive and downward part will be negative. <coughs> that is all about shear force diagram and uh, sign convention what we have taken net force upward from left is treated as positive shear force a net force downward force from right is treated as a positive shear force. Next step is to find out the uh, to draw the bending moment diagram. First, we have to find out bending moment at respective location. For zone AC, what you are seeing that if you are taking any section x1, x1, you will be finding moment of uh, clockwise moment that is 12 x1. What it is, it confers that there is a linear variation of moment. Similarly, if you are taking uh, x1 equals 0, you will be finding ma equals 0. Similarly, x1 equals 1 meter, you will be finding 12 kN meter at 2 to 24 kN meter. For zone CB, you'll be, you have to develop the equation of moment. What uh, I have taken 12 x2 positive and plus tw uh, 20 into x2 minus 2 negative because that is anticlockwise and 12 x2 is clockwise x2 what we have taken x2 is the distance of x2 x2 section from a so i i hope it is clear uh, at this level so finally we will we'll be getting the equations that is minus 8x2 plus 40 is still what uh, this equation is saying this is a linearly variation in that equation x2 if you are taking 2 you will be finding moment at uh, c at uh, is 24 kilonewton meter and 3 if you are taking 16 kilonewton meter and 4 8 kilonewton meter 5 equals you will be finding 0 so what it is saying that that there is a downward uh, uh, variation of uh, moment so what i have shown over here if you see that acb between a to c there is a linearly variations what i have shown over here equation mxx 12x if x is less than equal to 2 meter so at 1 meter there is a 12 kN meter 2 meter it is 24 kN meter if you proceed for the section CB you will be finding this kind of pattern because this again this is a variation or linear variation so mx x equals minus 8x plus 40 when x is less uh, greater than 2 and less than equal to 5 meter so this is the variations of uh, uh, bending moment and you will be finding that all is positive because it if you see that this is the, this is the is sagging in nature whatever convention if you are if if you are providing at upward as a positive or downward as a positive it is completely your choice because i have shown here at the upward as a positive uh, in the <coughs> positive i have shown over here uh, in the y direction this is all about the bending moment diagram and easily you can predict at any section you will find out the bending moment if, if, if you get the bending moment you are able to find out the reinforcement conclusion is that your support reaction 12 kN support reaction at beat 8 kN maximum shear force 20 kN we have calculated that maximum bending moment 24 kN Okay friends, uh, this is all about the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram of simply supported beam which is uh, externally loaded with the point load or concentrated load you can say that. Hopefully I have added some value in your thought process and the process how you are thinking of, of shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. If you really like uh, my video just do like, share, subscribe and uh, it is kind request that you provide comment and the feedback on my video so that I can improve myself and uh, uh, in future I'll be taking uh, uh, 
more videos which is like uh, if you're concerned only thank you so much